Hi. Hi. I'm Jen. I'm Corey. And we are Corey and Jen do stuff. Are we? Today, maybe. <laughs> maybe not tomorrow. Maybe we'll change it up tomorrow. <laughs> maybe not. Hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to our channel. If you uh, watched us before, I'm glad you're back. If you are new to our channel, please hit the like and subscribe. Smash the bell. Smash that bell. <laughs> uh, and help us out. We're trying to get some numbers up so we can entertain y'all, do some giveaways. So hopefully uh, you share, like and share with your friends. Like us on Facebook. Just tell them we're weird. It's cool. We are. Follow it's us on right. Instagram. Oh, we're not very social media people, yeah. but... Facebook, our Facebook is pretty. Our Facebook is hopping. hopping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, thanks for being here. We have a haul for you. Um, I was not a part of this haul, so there's some stuff I don't know about. There's some stuff I do know about. So we happened to be in Lubbock over the weekend, and. I decided to take a trip to one of my favorite consignment stores up there that's like a Hastings or Entertain Mart if you've seen our other video. Very uh, similar. Yeah, only a ton more stuff. I could have spent way more money than what I did in there. <laughs> I was there for I'm about, really glad you didn't. I was there saying. for about three hours maybe. It was three or four a hours. Long while, yeah. so. And I still didn't look at everything I wanted to really look at. So. But I managed to pick up some stuff, mostly for Jen, because she couldn't go. So She's super sweet. I only got two things for myself. I'd be a little. They selfish. are pretty cool things, though. I have to say, mm -hmm. they're very cool things. So let's start with your stuff. Okie dokie. Sorry if you see our animals back there. We have a cat and a dog, Arnold and Luna, and they just don't want to sit still this evening so uh yeah you might see them wander in and out knock some if stuff over if you see over. the pops fall down in the back it's because we don't they're... have a ghost <laughs> <Yeah>. shannon <laughs> we're not haunted except by two two furry animals, animals. <laughs> but they are cool they're just they don't like to listen kind of like kids all right let's start with this one right yeah here. so all right so, I knew that I she know. had... I don't know which one this is. So. Hermione's Patronus. And, Funko Pop. Yes, Funko Pop Patronus. So I got her Ron Weasley's Patronus. Was... <gasps> oh, that's right. His Patronus is a little poppy dog. Look at that. Yep. Oh my goodness. All the Patronuses they decided to do in this really cool blue color because in the movie, if you do not watch Harry Potter, the Patronuses kind of are a glowing blue color mm -hmm. in the movie. So they made all the Patronuses... Almost ghost-like. Yes, very, very much ghost-like. But the, it is, they're, all, they're so And are they cute. on little clouds? He is. It's yeah, hard they to all see, have a little like, wisp of cloud wisp underneath them. Underneath, because they're they actually are coming out of a wand. So this one would be coming out of Ron's wand, mm -hmm. right? When. <laughs> Sorry, but I keep hitting the wrong button on this stupid thing. So they say expecto patronum, and their patronus comes out towards the dementors. Yes and their Patronus fights off because their Patronuses are made of light and the Dementors only exist in darkness. They scare away the Dementors and then the wizard is safe. So each wizard has their own Patronus um, based, supposedly based on their personality. Um, and yeah, a Terrier kind of fits Ron. He follows Harry around a little bit. <laughs> I am on the... Uh hunt now for we need Harry's, Harry's Patronus. Patronus. Which is a doe. Stag. Oh, it's a stag. That's right. Yep. So he thought it was his father. Spoilers. That's right. Spoiler alert. <laughs> oh, goodness. If you have not seen or read Harry Potter by now. It's the wrong channel. Yeah, you. you probably don't like our channel. I'm sorry. Oh. oh this one's cool. So, not a Patronus. 
but it is blue because he is a ghost. Um, the Bloody Baron is a ghost that haunts the halls of Hogwarts. And he's cool. He's in a couple of scenes. Um, especially at the end in the big fight scene. Spoiler alert. So the Bloody Baron is my house ghost. Yes. So each Hogwarts house has their own token, token ghost. <laughs> I don't even know who mine is. Oh, mine's Rowena, isn't it? It's Ravenclaw's daughter. So not Rowena. No, and I don't remember her name. Oh my goodness. And it will come up in Harry Potter trivia and I will totally... <laughs> There's a lot of questions about Rowena and the Ravenclaw house in general. Yes. So the last Funko Pop um, he got for me is another ghost. This is Nearly Headless Nick. And Nick is the Gryffindor house ghost. How do you be Nearly Headless? Because they didn't chop his head all the way off. <laughs> Just nearly. 80% the way. <laughs> But he is really cool. He has got quite a few scenes in the movies as well and um, is a big part of the story, actually. So I really wanted your little stick, and I'm so glad he found him and picked him up for me. That was awesome. So there's a couple of um, magnets that go along with Harry Potter that he found. And the first one is... The Ministry of Magic. Oh, that yeah. is super cool. It's going to look great on the fridge. It really is. <clears throat> and it's got all the house represented there. And the snake. I don't, well, I don't see Ravenclaw. Mm. But there is Gryffindor and Slytherin for sure. And the Death Eaters. That's super cool. And then the other one is Honey Dukes, which is the candy shop, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they have the chocolate, chocolate frogs and the cauldron cakes and the slugs. They're jelly slugs. Oh, I bet they're cool. like gummy bears and gummy worms. They are. Oh. I've had them. Man. Yes, they're super cool. And this, uh, the store is located in Hogsmeade, which is a tiny little town right just outside of Hogwarts. Where you can go pick up some butter, butter beer. beer. Oh, I almost got a six pack of butterscotch beer. <laughs> like We're I said, there was so much stuff I could have gotten. Right. We're still hopeful and we still have reservations for Florida in December to go see Universal Studios because they have a Harry Potter world, wizarding world of Harry Potter. And there is a Honey Dukes there where you wait. can go and shop all the wizard candy and all that fun stuff. I'm super excited. I want a wand. I'm going to max my credit card out in there. No, he's not. It's so I'm going to make sure to hide that very well from him. At least that What's day. What's this? All right, we have one more Harry Potter item. That is probably my favorite mm. out of the whole haul. Well, I don't know. There is one more item that's uh, pretty freaking cool, but it's not Harry Potter. This is a 24-ounce 3D ceramic mug of Luna and her crazy so glasses. Awesome. Luna Lovegood. It is so stinking cute. I love her glasses. She is amazing. Look at all her pretty blonde hair. <gasps> but I love those crazy glasses. This is so cool. I cannot wait to have my hot chocolate in this in the morning because I don't drink coffee. I'm definitely okay with some hot chocolate in here. Mm, so yep, it's yep, very yep, heavy. Yep. It's very nice. And it is a Harry Potter. Official. Uh, trademarked item. Yep. Warner Brothers. That is so cool. I'm super excited. Hand wash only, though. No it's dishwasher. Hand wash, no dishwashers. I'm okay with that. What's the last thing you got for me? So, well, it's kind of for us. Not so much for me, but 
we needed some art for the walls, and we've been working on. We get some art with the uh, geek gear boxes and yes. the inked box that had some art in it. Mm -hmm. But we need some bigger art, and there was a ton of Harry Potter art that I looked at, and then wall that had a bunch of different mashup type artwork. But Jen is really into Disney. And I know that she loves Lilo and Stitch. I do. So. Got it's her so stinking cute. A Lilo and Stitch <gasps> painting. But look at Look at Lilo and Stitch holding hands. Oh my god. It is adorable. <laughs> so this will I be love on it the wall. so much. That's going <laughs> up on the wall. I'll have to. Um, I'll have to show you, maybe I'll do a video of just some of the stuff I got in past Geek Gear boxes. I have it kind of stored away right now, um, but I am going to go through it in the next couple of weeks. And I can just kind of show you what I have before I put it all up on the walls. Um, I also have a few things from uh, Denver Comic Con I went to a couple of years ago where I got to meet some celebrities and have some stuff autographed. So I can show you guys some of that. That was pretty cool. Maybe she'll tell her little naughty story about Jason Momoa. Maybe I'll share that story. <laughs> I know there's a couple of viewers that already know that story. <laughs> but it's pretty interesting. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right. Um, and comment down below if there's other stuff you want to see. You know, other collectibles and things uh, of ours that you'd like to see. Are we haunted? No, I was looking oh, to okay. see what all was mingled in up there with our pops. We have yeah, more he's... pops than... So, if you can see it, look, I don't know which way I'm pointing right now, but right there, right there, Corey snuck that guy in there. That is the cute Mandalorian Baby Yoda. Yes. The stinking the child. Adorable. Adorable. I, we were at one, Hot Topic one day, and he, he found something for me, Harry Potter. So we walk up to buy it, and they happen to have two left. And one was crushed. Oh, yeah, the box was the destroyed. The box was completely destroyed. And they were only like $12. So I was like, yeah, put that in there. <laughs> Corey's telling me, no, don't put, no, we don't need that. I was trying to hold out for the big 10-inch. The huge. Huge and I have home. yet to see one. I, th I think they all went for pre-orders, and I was stupid and did not pre-order. But we got the little, so one. Got the little one, and it is cute, and it goes with our collection, so it works. All right, should we show your two? Yep. All righty. Let's start with the little one. The little one. All right. So I am. I'm not even going to show you the front yet because this is stinking cool. I am an HP Lovecraft fan. Fanatic. And it doesn't cover it. Cthulhu is it's his favorite. My man. Absolute favorite. Or old god Herald of Old Gods. I don't wanna put a gender on I don't wanna misassume right? the gender of Cthulhu. But I found this. Look at this. Look. Look! It's a Cthulhu. Pop Pez, they call it. Mm. And it's a Bambox exclusive, which we will be getting a Bambox here shortly. And it glows in the dark. I cannot <gasps> wait to see it glow in the dark. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is, it's awesome. It is so cool. Like, he has a huge collection, and he should probably share that one day with you all, too. Or at least some of it. I know he... Yeah, that, yeah, would, I have be, that would be way too one long. Of, <laughs> one of the everything. pops up there. But this I have not seen before. And it was a Bambox Another exclusive. Another Bambox exclusive. So I have the... So that's the regular one I have up behind us. And I, Jen got me that one, and she also got me a Comic Con exclude New York Comic Con exclusive that was mm -hmm. patina that was copper and uh, oh, with the green yeah. like the green patina on it from 
copper. But this one I saw and I was like, oh my goodness. I think this was... You can see his little outfit in there. A little skirt thing. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But it's, it's so cool. His little claw there. That is awesome. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. Yeah, I was very excited for that. He waits to return. That is, that's pretty awesome. I have to say it. I wonder which BAM... So, BAM Box does a multitude of different boxes. So, they have um, BAM Box Pop, which is like pop culture. Um, I, the One of the very last boxes they did, I believe, was April or May, was all Back to the Future. Like, that was their pop culture box. And they had an autographed something in there from Christopher Lloyd, which I thought was super cool. Um they also have a uh, comic, a BAM, like a gamer. They just started the gaming one. The gamer one, the very first gamer box is actually going out in June. Um, then they have a comic, like superhero one. Um, and the one we got was... The horror? We got the BAM horror box. Oh, yeah. And they had some issues, so we're getting some bonus stuff in our box. There was an issue with... The signatures. So a um, celebrity backed out at the last minute um, of signing all 2,500 whatever items. However many there are, I'm just assuming 2,500 because that's what it was in April because um, they only sell so many. So once they are gone, they are gone. Uh, so if you cancel a subscription, you probably probably won't get it back you might get put on a wait list but um things like that so uh, they had a celebrity cancel on them at the last minute so they were scrounging to find another celebrity that could autograph something for the box um i don't know who it is they usually do give clues they are on facebook live every friday night they call it band box friday um, but the last few Fridays have all been about their new gamer box. So they didn't do any hints or clues to the horror boxes. Um, I just kept getting email updates about um, I mean, it, our April box. We now have paid for three boxes and have not received one yet. So I think we're going to get... We'll probably get two this month. We'll get our April and May, and then the June one will come the first week of July. That's what the latest email said. And we have so. more boxes coming this week, so... Inked, marked by inked is coming. Mm -hmm. That just shipped out. Our BAM um, box should be here in a day or two. BAM box should be here this week. Our geek gear for June should be here. That shipped out last week. Yeah. And so I'm excited. I've got a lot coming I'm up. Give a little preview. Okay. But in our next video after this one, Corey will be doing my vinyl box finally arrived. Finally. So Ooh. that will be our next video after this one. Corey might do that one by himself. Maybe I'll we'll let see. Jen work the camera. I don't know if that I might be bad. <laughs> need a camera. It's the yeah, records, they're big, so. so. But yeah, so that's um, a few things you have to look forward to. Uh, we also have just a brief little overnight stay planned. We'll probably shoot a couple of videos. Maybe we have a new toy. I got a drone. My drone came in today. So we might take some drone shots. So we got all this stuff at a place called Second and Charles in Lubbock. And we're going to go back. So maybe we'll film while we're in the store looking around and we can show some of the yeah. other stuff that they have in there. We can do that so and show you guys some other what fun all, stuff. What all I could have blown my money on. Right? So oh, Our Lord. money. Maybe we um, shouldn't go back in there. <laughs> no, it'll be fun. Since I didn't get to go last time, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what else they have. So I'm pretty excited. So stick around, like, and subscribe. 
Smash the bell. Smash the bell so you know when we have some upcoming videos. And like we said, we are going to be out of town this weekend, um, but we will have videos for you ready to upload. So don't think we forgot about you. And we're going to start scheduling the videos yep. out so that they'll go up at a certain time, certain days. And we'll let you know through our Facebook when the videos are going to go live. And it'll be a little bit easier now. It seems like subscription boxes are kind of normalizing um, from the whole COVID thing. So they're catching up with things. Um, so hopefully if we start getting them on time, we should have a good chunk of videos for you throughout the month. So that'll be good. Plus we have some other fun stuff planned for the summer. So stay tuned. And we have a couple of giveaways coming up. We do. Yes. So like and subscribe and share. Um, we will be sharing the rules of those giveaways. Rules within, are for fools. Within the next couple of weeks. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us. We will see you later. Bye. Bye.